Hey, Hannah. Yeah. You know what they call the Sean and Hannah show? The hottest show on earth. So we had plans to go busk this weekend in Florida, but it actually ended up being the hottest three days in the history of recorded temperature. So we're like, you know what? Let's just play inside, but with outdoor gear. <laughs> Yeah. She's talking into a microphone, it doesn't do anything. This fun. is a, a video on the new Bose S1 Pro Plus, and it's got a wireless mic built into it, which is amazing because now you can just like plug this in and it like charges. Ah, there we go, there we go. And now it's charging in there and it's battery powered. So we're just gonna play our show inside, even though we're filming this outside and I'm already sweating a lot. And Hannah, who sent us this? By the way, Sweetwater. There we go. And how do we know that it's Sweetwater? Because you have the candy. Yeah. Would you like to do a candy review? What do you got there? I already ate like half of it yesterday. Um, I took out the good stuff and ate like my favorites. What's your least favorite Sweetwater candy? Mm. Probably, probably just like the peppermint. Peppermint. Yeah, probably. Right? Yeah, I'd say the peppermint. Peppermint's not. So There's nothing exciting about peppermint. Yeah, you just kind of get it from like every Longhorn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get to let's get to the show. Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> today, today we're in a different setting. As you can see, it's a little more podcasty. There we go. Well, how about we play a little tune? What do you say? Yes.
All right, so what we're doing now is we have the bows in the shot right there, and we're going to have a, an attention battle. So we're going to try to steal the show with the camera in front of us. Annie, ready? Yeah, I'm ready to steal the show. Showcasing the true wireless capabilities of the system. Yes, so wireless. Longtime Bose user Andres Colin. What's up, brother? So let me show you the setup. We got a Bose S1 Pro, which you have one of these. I have one of this. You have yes. the original one. I have right? the original one. Which yes. you use for like a lot of outdoor stuff, right? As a matter of fact, I have two now. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, you do like, you know, a lot of beach gigs and stuff like yeah. that. So it's perfect for that or as a monitor. Again, so the way that I, I this setup is great. This is a very underrated setup because it has the Bose sub two which also has the badge that you can move back and forth <laughs> right which is my favorite yeah. feature and then you have that going into this bose kind of like arm that you mount the the s1 on which again you can just like pretty easily take it off like that so that's the whole setup now the s1 is battery powered the yeah. sub you have to plug in that's the only thing about yeah. it but I, I kind of personally, I mean, I'd like to hear your, th your thoughts on this because we both have gigged L1 models also. Yeah. I think this is, if you don't have one, this is the way to go because you get this that you can use aside from it and then you can essentially turn it into kind of like an L1. Honestly, it really is uh, a saver, you know, a lifesaver because like if you have a Jeep, for example, oh, if you have a white Jeep, for example, <laughs> you don't have to have all this set of, you've seen what I have in my car. For sure, yeah. It's filled with, with stuff, you know? So this is like such a good way to, to split between a beach wedding where you only have one little speaker and then turn it into a full-size PA by combining it with the sub. So it, it really is a light space saver. That's the word I was... Let's That's what I'm saying. There it is. Space saver. From That's the it. mouth of a pro. Yeah. So if you sell me this and I and you sell me your Jeep, I'm all set. No, it's not. It's not going to set. Sorry. So aside from everything else, you can control this uh, via the app on your phone, which is how I put all that reverb on it because I can never get too much reverb. But you can also just sync it. And over the weekend, I had a birthday party last week. It was my birthday. I know you didn't have to send me anything. But uh, we use this basically as just a Bluetooth speaker. Actually, yeah, a Bluetooth speaker and also just like the eighth inch out on uh, the back of the TV that we're using. So it's kind of cool because it has an eighth inch or a quarter inch that you use for the aux channel, which always does not have reverb. So you can do that too. But let's look at the other features. Okay, so like I said, basically, we were using that with the subwoofer, but you can do this standalone now. Like you've seen, these are the chargers. Uh, this goes right into the guitar. And then the one underneath it goes right into the microphone. 
It will also tell you how much battery you have left right there on the LCD screen, which is super cool. Uh, some other cool features, you can charge your phone with this. You can also use it as an interface, USB-C, which we actually use this on an interface on a live stream I did with my friend Jay Leonard J. So he is gonna show you basically how we set that up. All right, so Jay Leonard J here is setting up the live stream. What do we got? We got the new Bose. Uh, this is the S1 Pro Plus. We're here in Sean's place here. So good. Lovely. I, am I even allowed to say where you live? Of course. Yeah. yeah so uh, Dox New me. Jersey. Dox me, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> we're in Sarasota, mm. Florida, mm. and uh, in this lovely, lovely studio here. We decided we're gonna do a live stream. This is my first actual like live stream, live stream where I get to like talk to people and do stuff. And the way we got it set up here is we have two microphones. We got two guitars. And we got the Bose S1 Pro Plus. Oh, no, Whoa. D35. Oh, no, no it's the Cordova. It's oh, I was it's nervous. Fine, it's fine. I was that's nervous fine. over there. So this one just came in the mail. The way we're doing it is I'm putting the, my guitar into line one. And then we're putting his guitar into line two. And then uh, we put this thing into live stream mode by holding there. You see, you got that over here. Okay. And then you can see there's live stream on. And I just made sure that it is on. All right, so from there, um, we have this little fancy schmancy Bose mixer, and we're just using it just because we have two microphones, right? So uh, because there's only three channels here, and we have the first two channels with the uh, guitars, we decided to go aux. We'll put our two SM57s. 58s. Into this. Oh, 58s? Mm. Oh, yeah, that's of course. Of course it's a 58. <laughs> Going out into the aux jack of here. And that's kind of the trick if anyone wants to get more channels out of it or if you know you want to get like a microphone or something like that in that channel three it's nice to have a little preamp or a little mixer you can go right into and you have two kinds you got the quarter inch and what the uh the eighth inch either one what's there. your pleasure yeah. yeah Ooh, i like the quarter inch mm. i feel more secure you could wonder we have the uh the USB C going right out of there into my computer here so um, we're actually going a little fancy here, and this is where it's going to get kind of scary here. I'm mm. going USB-C here into my computer, and then we got the uh, little Sony camera. There we go. We're taking the USB out into my computer as well. There we go. So video from the Sony, audio from the Bose. From the Bose. Entertainment and charisma from the man. And then once we get into the YouTube Studio app, I just have to make sure that my camera is that Sony camera, and my microphone is you see that little guy? That's it! Oh. You're done! And you're ready to live stream. You monitor your sound uh, through the box over here, and you can just go on live stream. And that's what we're gonna do right now, me and Sean at the same time. Oh my gosh. Live streaming. Oof. Holy Christmas. Oof. We're gonna get this going. And don't forget, this is a wireless unit too. So if you do wanna go wireless live stream, guess what? Doable. We're not even plugged in. This is just on battery. Right just now. on battery. Yeah, yeah we're not even mm -hmm. doing anything. So. Let's go see. Watch the video. Watch the video. See how it turns out. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye. All right. I'm pretty sure that's a rundown of most of the features. Again, really awesome unit. It's actually a pound lighter than the original S1s that I used to get with all the time. And we'll still have like a lot of use for. But the cool thing is it's, it's lighter. It has way more features and it's the same price. Now, it's, it's a little bit more if you get it with the guitar and the mic things that plug into it. But if you just get it straight, uh, they have like these little rubber stoppers that go into that space in case you don't want the, uh, the guitar wireless stuff. You can always buy them separate after the fact. But the cool thing is that you can also use the regular combo jacks to just run as like an effect send return. If you want to use the pedal board, you can plug that in. And then it'll, it says there's a lot of cool routing stuff that you can do with that. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much most of the main features of this. Really, again... Awesome piece of gear. Highly suggest if you're looking for just a PA to gig with, you do this in combination with the sub two and the pole that come that you can buy with it too. Uh, because again, I think it's it's perfect specifically for acoustic guitar singer type stuff. Uh, like I said, I've gigged the L1 Pro 32. I've gigged a lot of different L1s over the years, but the other main rig would be the the Pro 32 with the sub one. Uh, which, you know, might even be too much sub for what I need just for like an acoustic vocal type thing. Uh, but you know, maybe if you're a DJ and you want a little more sub power, maybe the sub one is the way to go. But I think just for like acoustic stuff, get yourself an S1 Pro Plus and a sub two with the pole and you're good to go. So thank you to Sweetwater. Thank you to Bo Bose for sending these over. Uh, big fan of both of those companies, obviously using both before I ever had a YouTube channel and everything. So I'm, 
I'm a, I'm a loyal stan for both companies. So if you have any questions, I would love to answer them. Hit me up in the comment section below. Thank you to Hannah. Thank you to Andres. And thank you to Jay for helping me out with this video. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.